question. What do you get when you add an empty ZJ with its rear seats down to a bag of tools? Yard day. Hey, what's up guys? I'm Dan H and welcome to the project. Today I'm in the General Grievous, seats down, bag of tools, I'm going to the yard. I'm going to pick a part, an XJ, it's a new arrival, and there's a lot of parts I want from it for a project police jeep and for project rec j so this is going to be a good day hopefully the parts i want are still there you never know xj's go fast in the yards these days so we're on our way out there and uh we'll check in when i get there here we are we made it i'm so excited beautiful place Oh man, it is such a beautiful day. It's about 70 degrees, zero humidity, bright blue skies, and junk cars all around me. Life couldn't get much better than this. And check it out guys, here we go. The Jeep I need is here. Ta-da, look at all those parts. Here it is guys, we got a 2000 Jeep Cherokee XJ from the town of Southampton. It's probably a beach Jeep. And uh, you can tell there is some rocker panel rust. There's a little bit of rust back there. I wonder if this launched a couple boats. But uh, there's definitely some sand caked on there. So that's a good evidence that this was a beach related vehicle. But man, there is not one single ding or dent. This body is pretty straight. What a shame, what a shame. All right, here we go. Looks like I'm gonna start with this header panel. Take off the header panel and I'll work my way around to the fenders. Um, it's in great shape. It's just, it looks like it's been resprayed with some regular chalky white spray paint. Uh, not a fan of that, but whatever. What are you gonna do? We'll make this work. Can you see me? <laughs> I forgot my tripod like an idiot. What an idiot. <laughs> So uh, you're propped up in the hood of a, uh, hey, you're in a Camaro. <laughs> All right, let's get to work. All right, this header panel should only be held on by these four 10 millimeter bolts. I got the corner ones here and I got two under this one. This one's already taken out. So uh, we'll get this light bezel off. There we go. Headlight bezels have these two tiny little Phillips head screws at the top. Take these out by hand because the hole is very shallow and then uh, comes right out. All right, turn signal lens, here we go. We're switching to the Jeep's favorite, 10 millimeter. Yup. Look at this guys, heater core hoses were cut and check out this plasma cutter. Just scored the motor mounts right off. So this motor was good, somebody needed it. And the rest of the Jeep is left for dead. So sad. All right, header panel. Add this to the good pile. All right, gonna move on to the fenders, but first, while I do that, I'm gonna let some WD-40 soak into these. Ugh, we got these door bolts. Now these are T-40, I believe, and they suck. Always stripping out. I'd hate to have to cut them off, because that's dangerous, you risk cutting your door. We'll just let these soak for a minute. Now we could heat them, whack them with a hammer, try to get them out later, after the fenders. Drink. All right, let's get this driver fender off. Huh. This one may be broken.
Ugh, I'm gonna have to dig a hole to get these. Oh, jeez. I didn't even bring a shovel today. There. Dug a hole with that piece of muffler. Let's see if I can get in here now. Hooey! That one was difficult. This clip broke off, so I had to get in there with a vice grips in the hole I dug and still manage my impact on it, but got it. Don't forget that fender flare nut that's attached to the brace. That one gets you every time. And it breaks every time. All right, I want this driver door, but here we go. These bolts are stubborn AF, if you know what I mean, guys. Now you can get to this one and this one pretty easy. Even this one isn't so bad. But down here on the bottom, getting to this one, the angle is just all off and it's easy to strip. If this doesn't want to come out, you're going to strip the torque. So that's a big problem. Let me show you something else now. With the door closed, and a T40 impact on this long extension, you could get to the worst ones from right up here. Now, they are probably seized on, so let's see what we could do. Make sure you want them in all the way. Here we go, reverse. Oh yeah, they're not going anywhere. This thing's gonna fight me. I am in for it. Oh, man. All right, another trick I'm gonna try is this T40 door last set. I just got these new Torx bits. Uh, put them in my second RecJ video. Look, I could take out the head, and look at that, with an 11 millimeter. There we go. Now I'm gonna get in the door like this. I should have room, uh, not too much leverage, but more than I would have if I was being in that awkward position, stripping that bolt. So let's try this. Pray for me. Got one. Got two. This bottom one is always the worst. Come on. Man. Come on. Oh yeah, it's turning. Ha! Huh. Junkyard exhaust breaker bar. Amazing. That's incredible. Wow. This almost never happens, guys. Oh, you are in for a treat today. <laughs> Still in disbelief. Hey, look, CD case. Sting, Sacred Love. Dido, oh, gross. Oh, gross. Coldplay. Huh. Alanis Morissette. Now oh, I'll rock that. <laughs> all right bottom hinge is free wow 
All right, I loosened up these last three hinge bolts right up here, but I don't want to take it off yet. I got to take off this door check bolt, and I want to make sure I get the wires out, and I'm not going to cut them. All you got to do is just get an 11 millimeter deep dish in here. There's like a little nut in here, a little fastener. You got to take that off. This comes out three clips, then you can pull out the door. We'll keep this whole door intact. And man, I am TO'd. Some guy, some savage, just ripped this right out to take off the side view mirrors. That is so unnecessary. This thing is just a couple bolts. There's two bolts down here, or three bolts down here, one bolt here, door pops off, and then you can take this off. What a shame. But anyway, let's continue on. Yeah, so there's 11 millimeter nut in that little hole, and also don't forget the Phillips here. It can pull this trim piece out of the way. Little door sill out, and then you can slide this off, and that reveals the three plugs. One, two, three. These are your door plugs. You gotta detach them, and you can push them through the boot. Nice. Somebody welded this on. Jeez. Yes. All right, this is where the door used to be. It is not there anymore. It is in our parts pile. But hey, look guys, there's a really nice steering wheel and a pretty clean dash. This interior was not bad at all. So come on down guys, get yourself some interior parts. Pretty cool. There is our parts pile. This looks like it's gonna conclude our picking of this XJ. I'm not taking the passenger door because there is rust at the bottom, so sad. Uh, same thing with the passenger fender. I started pulling the bolts and there's some rot right there. Can't deal with that. Ain't nobody got time for that. So here we go. This is what I've taken. Hood, header panel, fender, driver door. And here you go. You could definitely tell she was a beach Jeep. Look at that. So sad. She is rotten. Probably spent a good amount of time on the Southampton beaches. Don't blame you. Nothing more beautiful than a Southampton beach. But yeah, that salt water definitely took its toll. I mean, my goodness. Look at that. Is that a diff? There's nothing left of this pumpkin. <laughs> it's just crap. What a shame. Oh well. All right, pretty good score today. Not bad, not bad. Such a shame that uh, XJ's got a bite the dust but its parts will help other xjs live on um sad but good i don't know circle of life or what have you um part score hey check this out here's the camaro that was holding the phone for me earlier getting those good camera shots just wedged it right in there sometimes you got to improvise and oh uh, man that pipe <laughs> the exhaust pipe getting the door out that was a stroke of luck i guess uh, divine intervention if you will i used this pipe to dig a hole then he used it as a breaker bar. I guess a good junkyard score is half preparation and half divine blessings. You never know what kind of obstacles are gonna be in your way. And when you're bringing a, just a pack of tools, yeah, not many options to work with. But we're waiting for a transport. I'm not carrying all this to the counter by myself. The car's gonna come pick me up. So let's poke around here for a minute. Let's see what we can find. See what's good out here. Let's see, let's see. It is an 04 WJ. Looks complete. Nice cloth tan interior in there. Oh man, a TJ. What a shame. 2000. Uh, semi rollover? I don't know. Mash. What else? Not many more Jeeps. Oh, there we go. Yowie zowie. Here's that extra I saw about a month ago during its intake process. Man, this thing took a good bruising. Brouch. Brow's gone wild over here. I'm actually digging it. 
And what are you doing later? I'm kind of seeing anybody else. Oh, brouch. <laughs> Smashed right in the rear. Oh, yeah. In a bad way, I guess. I don't know. I guess there's no really good way to get bashed in the rear. But that's another story. Moving on now. Let's go over here. And this is a 97 Cherokee SE, I think. It's base, very base. And it's got some damage in the front too. How about that? Everything's smashed on this one. <laughs> hey, that passenger door looks mint. Might be the only thing good on this whole vehicle. Oh, this passenger fender's not bad either. And the hood, nah, hood's wrecked. That sucks. Oh well, what you gonna do, what you gonna do? Is that a Ram pickup truck? Looking good. Power wagon, even better. Wow. All right guys, that's gonna do it for this trip to the yard. Hope you picked up a trick or two. Uh, you never know what you're gonna have to use to be able to get that part off that you need. I hate to walk away from a part, especially one that I really need and the exact same color that I need it in. It's like a super score and I was this close to throwing in the towel or actually using my angle grinder. I brought that too. That's a last resort. I hate chopping up things, especially in the yard. I don't like using power tools. It draws attention to you and I like to pick in private, but whatever. Uh, really happy I got it. So that's gonna do it. I got a ZJ full of XJ parts. Really happy to start working on the XJs again. Project Police Jeep and Project Rec J. And more videos to come on that. And of course, I still got some WJ stuff to do. It's a part of the fleet, so it's always gonna have issues. It's a, it's a Jeep. <laughs> but yeah, that's it for this one, guys. So thank you so much for watching. Remember to like, subscribe, and I will see you on the next project. Peace. Hello, Alanis. Ha <laughs> ha.